Okay, I'm gonna sit here and play around with some, some painting and stuff. Hopefully my bald head don't get in the way. I don't keep kicking this camera thing. Um, now what we got here is my practice board, how I test colors and see if I'm spraying straight and all that funky stuff. I, uh, I'm gonna shoot a, a base of black here because I'm gonna practice some, some lines with the, the, uh, point two gun and see, see if that's spraying any better after polishing the needle and all that neat stuff. But, uh, I got, for now I got a, a base coat of black, well, nearly black. I, uh, play around with this stuff here for practicing so I don't waste a whole ton of money on, on painting. And, uh, this is thinned down about 60, 65% maybe to make it go through the gun better. But here's my thing. This is black. That looks green to me. But we spray it anyway because every year you get it, it does, it actually dries black. So the first thing I'm going to do is play around and Get my air te air, air pressure set right. And you got a one of those cheapy little air compressors that are on demand. They only bounce between one and 1.4 atmospheres or whatever they want to call it. And uh, wanna wanna test and get it ready for for spraying that dilution. So normally I start around. 20, 20 or so to see, see what I'm going to get out of it. Um, right now we're set about 25. So let's see what we get. Pretty thin down. No way I can get things to spray even with that pump. Otherwise, it just it tends to blob and blurt and make all kinds of funky designs as you shoot. Not worried about getting too even right now. Just want to get a face down and get the paper wet. See how it's going to react and all that, blah, blah, blah. So for now, seems like it's doing its thing. I could probably cut it back just a little bit more. Bring her down to about 20, 21 pounds. See what that that shoots. There we go. That's a not sure if the camera's picking it up, but that's better. You can see the, the green tint of the paint. <clears throat> All right, this is gonna take a, a bit to get that coated with a nice base coat of color. So I'm gonna shut you down for now and get that all done and come back and show you where we're gonna start from from there, what our results were and what it looks like. And then we'll swap over to the tiny brush for fine lines. All right, there is the first cup of that base coat to get that, give me a background to practice on. You notice how it's all hazy and, and splotchy and all that stuff? The paint is on there even. It's just the amount of uh, different colors behind it that are making all the weird patterns. So that's why I'm going to shoot another cup on top of it here. And after I give it a minute to dry and I'll sand it back, get rid of some of the uh, overspray, keep it smooth. 
Now you notice how, how that is like a greenish tint, but that is nice and dark as well as that. That's the difference between uh, two different types of paint or two different brands of paint, same stuff, same colors. But that is uh, why you pay the big bucks for your good paint. So moving on, I'm gonna shoot another cup and then we'll go over to the, the white and the fine the finer brush for line practice. Okay, I got my black base done. And uh, let's see if I can zoom in here and show you guys. Um, not sure how this is going to work. And it's not. Alright, let's see. Um, let's try. this. There we go. You can see like a nice, nice even base down. You can see the the green of the paper and, and all the other layers of paint that are underneath all that. But the coverage for the most part is, is even. And uh, just got done mixing some white, so we're going to play around with that a bit. But one of the things I've been working on for the new build is this, where I've got some, um, I don't know if you can see it, really good detail there, some gold chain that I'm going to play around with inlaying. This top section here, I, I cut it out wider and, and filled it in and, and flooded it with super glue. It works, but it looks like ass. So, I played around and, and, and found a super small router bit and worked with a file and, and that router bit by hand and carved that channel out. It carves nice around corners and around edge, so... This has got really good potential, but I'm going to put another coat of white on here and uh, see what the contrast looks like. It, so far, it's looking pretty good, but I want to see what it looks like with that chain in there tight and, and small and no, no lip around it. Because what I'm basically going to do is, is super glue the, the chain in there once the, once the uh, uh, route is done and then uh, have it barely stick up over the top and then uh, hopefully the clear coat will cover that and the final clear will cover all that and keep it all smooth and shiny. And then over here on this side, I'm going to test some black primer so I can get ready for, for, uh, redoing my, my wash burn. Again, I didn't sand, sand the mahogany down super good. I just blobbed a few coats of, of, uh, primer on there, sand that back a little bit blob another coat or two on air and sand it back so we're gonna play around so we'll see what we get <laughs> 